An El Paso judge makes a ruling in the cases of several migrants charged with the border fence incident that happened in the Lower Valley last month in which they rushed their way into the U.S. side. KFOX 14 Morning News reporter Margo Lepe is live at the border to tell us the decision made by a judge yesterday. Margo. Well, Jessica, it all happened right here at this part of the fence on the border. Some of the migrants involved in the incident last month are now out and released from jail. The decision was made by a judge during last night's conference, during a conference hearing last night. I want to give you a look at that video from last month that was recorded by the New York Post. This video shows that alarming rush 10 days ago. During an online teleconference bond hearing yesterday, presiding magistrate Judge Umberto Acosta accused the district attorney's office of not being ready to move forward with detention hearings for each defendant, saying the move is because the court would not be able to hold bond hearings for each individual within 48 hours, which is required by law. And a request made by an assistant district attorney for a continuance to have the hearings at a later date was rejected by Acosta. His decision comes more than a week after the incident along this gate at the Rio Grande, which is what you're seeing here. The migrants can be shown charging towards the border, outnumbering and injuring some National Guard troops on that morning of March 21st. According to the El Paso Times, the judge said those people who have cases related to the incident be released on their word to appear in court. The majority of the asylum-seeking migrants arrested for their alleged involvement were mostly men from Venezuela. We reached out to the district attorneys, but due to the holiday and today being Cesar Chavez Day, we have not received any comment. We will make sure to keep you updated with any new information we hear back. Reporting live from the border, Margot Lepe, the KFOX 14 Morning News.